what's what's fulfilling you as a producer, as an artist, and what are you looking to kind of set your aim at this year? Just like drop more records, you know what I'm saying? Just keep having fun with it, you know. Like I feel like this Blast Wale record that I just dropped one shot amazing. is like it's like an amazing feel good like all white day party, mm -hmm. champagne kind of vibe, you know what I'm saying? The, my next one I probably want to just drop a little street song mm -hmm. or like maybe some upcoming rappers I fuck with and stuff. I just want to keep like keep it going. How did you end up linking with Blast? So it's funny. So like I was actually in Miami working with Rick Ross, so like we were down there at Circle House working on his shit, and someone was like, "Have you met Blast before?" I was like, "Nah." He's like, yeah, he's here. I'm like, tell him to come in the room. So he came in the room, and I was like, and like we we were like talking a little bit, and I was like, man, like let's let's try something. He's like, yeah, pull something up. I made a beat like the week before at my house, but I pulled it up in the session. I got like Turbo and OG Parker to like add to it and stuff, and then we pulled it up, and then he did the hook, and I was like, man, this shit fire. Like I'm like, yo, this shit fire. And I, was, I was like, wait one second. And I knew Wale was there too, so I went and grabbed Wale. I'm like, yo, come in here, do a verse, man. Come. I was like, I was like pushing his buttons, like man. Come on, man, get on this record, man. He's like, oh fuck, all right. Came over there, wrote the record, we and we did it right there, Bang. banged it out. And then I, when we finished the record, I was like, man, I need, to, I'm taking this one. Yeah, this, this I looked beat. at both of them, I'm like, man, this is my shit. <laughs> this is my shit. I'm taking this one.